Next on list, we have this news courtesy of Teddy Santis, the now created director of New Balance USA and also the founder of Amelion, Amelion Dior. How do you pronounce that name? Amelion Dior, however you pronounce it. Is that how you pronounce it? I'm not too sure. But regardless, he has now um, leaked images of a new model called the New Balance 65R, which is obviously a high top version of the 250 or whatever that model is at prior. Um, it looks like he's going back into the archives and trying to resurrect models that aren't necessarily the most um, popular within the current New Balance fan base, um, which is a good thing to do because it obviously gives you a chance to kind of frame your own story and also kind of add to your own legacy. But the only thing I would say is that this shape has been, in my opinion, a little bit exhausted ever since New Balance decided to put it as a GR after the Emilio Dior's kind of collaboration. It feels like I've seen this shape everywhere. And now that all the sneaker customizers and whatever they are, whoever those guys are that do those shoes and copy their or resisting shape, they've now decided to take this or the, the low, the mid, whatever silhouette and use that as a new canvas. So the Jordan 1 has kind of gone by the way. And now everyone's taking the lower version of this shoe and making it it feels like they should have probably done another model or maybe designed one from the ground up so as much as i would say as much as i was the kind of person that would say hey why don't these brands go back into the archives and take models that aren't necessarily that well known and kind of breathe new life into them i'm also of the ilk that if you do have the manufacturing processes and manufacturing um, facilities and resources of a new balance why not just make something from the ground up that people are gonna love that can really tell your story as opposed to only going back into the archives but again considering you know his background considering the the taste levels and considering the appetite for this sort of stuff it makes complete sense as a home run and if you're just newly appointed into that role you want to get a couple of wins underneath your belt before you start experimenting and going and building new stuff from the ground up i completely get it but personally for me i'm just a little bit tired of seeing this shape seeing these paneling seeing this suit like it's just seeing this and this kind of logo i just don't know because i've seen this so often now and again that gr killed it i get why brands do it you do a collaboration obviously for the sake of trying to get the customer base to buy a shoe that they don't necessarily want to buy right or they don't know they want in a certain theory you slap a cool name next to it, a cool brand and hopefully that might add to the allure and then over time um, people might like the shoe itself and then you put out the gr and then that might then permeate into general consensus and the normies right because in the day the real money isn't really in sneakerheads like me you and i the real money is in trying to get regular people to buy those shoes as well because they're going to keep buying them again and again all over the world but again just in terms of visual fatigue i've seen this shape too much i'm fed up i don't want to see any more i want to see some new stuff but again i know it's a new job you got to do what you got to do to make sure people think that you're you know smashing it and whatnot but yeah i'm a bit tired of it but hey um what does it say remastered oh it's remastered i don't know what that means they add better materials i'm not too sure i'm not familiar with what the the og actually looked like but the details say here um the ald a new balance 650r remaster for spring 2020 so this is obviously a collaboration i think yeah, you can see on the tongue here the emilion door um sort of emblem here i think it says did it say it there I'm not, I'm not too sure but regardless this is definitely going to end up being a gr um very very soon so you probably don't need to even bother trying to get a pair yourself now just wait for the gr to drop but then i'm assuming the better colorways and more tasteful materials will definitely be used in this collaboration so do as you please do as you please